Hello students, welcome back to JJ's physics class. Today we will be discussing about velocity time graphs. What is velocity time graph? The variation in velocity with time for an object moving in a straight line can be represented by velocity time graph. You can also determine the distance moved by the car from its velocity time graph. So let us start discussing about velocity time graph. As I mentioned, it is a variation of velocity with time. In this graph, as we know that we have the x-axis and y-axis. So time is taken along the x-axis and velocity is taken along the y-axis. First case, if the object moves at uniform velocity or constant velocity. What do you mean by that? The velocity or speed is not changing with time. Example, if an object travels with a velocity of 20 meter per second, what would be the nature of the graph? As we know that time is taken along the x-axis and velocity is taken along the y-axis. So if an object is moving with a constant velocity, the nature of the graph is a straight line that is parallel to the x-axis. Second case, velocity time graph for a car moving with uniform acceleration. What do you mean by uniform acceleration? That means velocity changes by equal amounts in equal intervals of time. This is the nature of the graph. So it will be a straight line passing through the origin. So for all uniformly accelerated motion, the velocity time graph is a straight line. What happens if the velocity decreases with respect to time? Let us see. This graph shows the velocity decreasing with respect to time. Case 3, velocity time graph for a car moving with non-uniform acceleration. What is that? Sometimes if the velocity increases, sometimes the velocity decreases. Let us see what would be the nature of the graph. So here, if the velocity increases, as you can see here, the nature of the graph, suppose it decreases, again increases, again decreases. So this is nothing but velocity time graph representing the non-uniform variation of velocity of the object with respect to time. Next question is, what is the area enclosed by velocity time graph indicates? As I mentioned earlier, you can also determine the distance moved by the car from its velocity time graph. Let me start giving an example. Following graph shows the velocity time graph for a car moving with uniform velocity of 20 meter per second. That means the velocity of the car is 20 meter per second. Just now we have learned that if a car is moving with a uniform velocity, what would be the nature of graph? It will be a straight line that is parallel to the x axis. So since the velocity is 20 meter per second, we get a straight line from this point that is 20 meter per second. This is a straight line that is parallel to the x axis. If you want to calculate the distance moved by the car between the time interval t1 4 seconds and t2 that is between 12 seconds. How do we calculate the distance traveled by the car between the time interval t1 is equal to 4 seconds and t2 is equal to 12 seconds. For that what we do here is we will draw a straight line to the x axis where it will meet the time interval t is 4 seconds and another straight line to the x axis where it will meet the time t is equal to 12 seconds. So we also mark this point as a, b, c, d. Now what is the shape of this? This is the shape of a rectangle. Now, how do we calculate the distance moved by the car from this? The distance moved by the car 
or the area enclosed by this velocity time graph will be what the area of this rectangle that is a b c d what is the area of a rectangle area is nothing but height into length what is the height here a c into length is what a b and you also know that AC will be is equal to BD and AB will be is equal to CD. So, what is the area of this rectangle? It is nothing but AC that is the height into AB that is the length. Already I mentioned AB is equal to CD and AC is equal to BD. So, now let us calculate this. Area enclosed will be is equal to what is AC here? AC is nothing but length of this y axis that is from 0 to 20. So, 20 minus 0 will be what? 20 meter per second multiplied by length. What is length AB? Is nothing but the length of this x axis from 4 to 12 seconds. So, 12 minus 4 is 8 seconds. Second seconds will get cancelled. What is the answer here? 160 meter. What is this quantity? The answer is in meter. So it is nothing but distance travel. So the area under velocity time graph gives what? The distance travel by the body or the magnitude of the displacement of the body. What is the conclusion here? The area enclosed by velocity time graph gives what the magnitude of the displacement or distance traveled by a body. Thank you all.